We got. Over there, one over there, and one here. Use a razor blade, cut those nibs off. Once you've done that, you're gonna use a small screwdriver and pry it up. I'm doing this video because I just finished fixing the rear one, and I went to go open up the front, and the front decided to stop working. Okay, come on. And there's other ways of showing how to do this, and normally they take the whole lock off, but after doing this once, I think this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, a little bit more, there we go. And the reason why it doesn't work, my cables move freely, is trying to do this one-handed. That piece right there, so this piece is gonna come out of this piece, the outer piece. And what you're gonna do, does that just roll in? Bloody hell. You're gonna fill it full of epoxy. You're gonna let it sit. After it cures, you can put it on, hook up your cables. What we're gonna do is these tabs here, these ones will stay in place perfectly. But we're gonna cut this tab completely, that tab completely and drill through with the same size uh, drill bit. And then when you go and put it on, it'll just pop back into place. And then all I use is uh, small little uh, cable ties. If you don't want to use, if you want to use something a little stronger, you can use little bolts. Uh, for me, the cable ties seems to be doing the trick. You just pull them tight, cut the excess off, and uh, you're golden. That's how to fix these locks for the sport um, sport track tonneau covers and you can also pull on these to make sure that they're free I'm also going to lubricate these and show throw some uh, lithium ion grease into them to keep them really well lubricated and that's it